Right, so I want to take a look at two other features that have been included in the latest ANA2 update aside from the feature set that we have with the multi-sampling oscillators. And that's the inclusion of a drift function for the wavetable and analog oscillators as well as a gain staging option for the filters. Let's jump into ANA quickly and just take a look at what this does. Right, so I've just got a basic saw wave up and running here. It's actually the OB6 saw. Now on the oscillators you'll notice that you have a drift function here now. Now this is different from detuning the oscillators. The uh, fine tune you have here controls all of the voices at the same time. So if you're playing a chord, for example, you'll hear it's actually changing the pitch of every single note in that chord. But enabling the drift control actually instantiates some pitch shifting per voice. Uh, if I drag this up a little bit now and you'll hear not so apparent on a single voice, but when we play the chord now again. We'll really kind of uh, accentuate it quite a bit. You can hear per voice, each of them is slightly detuned now. Which gives you that way more analog feel to the oscillators. Now the second feature, as I mentioned, the gain staging option on the filters. So Anna already has a pretty vast array of filters in it, but you can actually change up the tone of these filters quite a bit more by adjusting the gain staging now. Let's go and grab, for instance, the Oberheim low pass filter. So how the gain staging works is it's a balanced gain at the input and the output of the filter. So by reducing this, you're actually reducing the volume going into the filter and then compensating it at the output before going into the drive circuit. So this has the effect of really changing the behavior of the filter. Uh, and I'll show you what I mean. If we dial up some resonance here, for example. Let's add in, add in a little bit of a filter sweep here. Take a close listen to the resonance as we reduce the input there. Now listen to the difference if we gain that up. So you can see driving the filter harder uh, actually reduces the amount of resonance that you get on that filter. Okay, set it back down again. And then you can obviously drive that into the drive stage as well. You'll get a lot more growl out of the filter by reducing the input and then driving it because you've got that way more prominent resonance happening there. And we'll bring that up again. And this has different effects on most of the filters as well. Uh, we'll go for the Roland, for example. Quite a different tone there. Reduce the gain once again. And this will obviously allow for self-isolation with a lot of the filters too. Just do be careful with the inputs and outputs of the filters because you can get pretty excessive levels, especially when reducing the gain and emphasizing that resonance. But a really nice little feature to have in there along with the drift to kind of give your sounds a little bit more of that analog flavor inside of Anna 2. Thanks everyone for watching, we really appreciate all the support from you guys. If you love this video then smash a like and if you want to be notified about new videos hit the subscribe and notification buttons.